Neil. So, are you looking for a tiny Linux distro? Are you tired of having your Linux distro being over 50 megs? Do you want to have something that's lean, mean, and frugal on storage space? Well, let me tell you about Tiny Core Linux. So essentially, Tiny Core Linux is a very minimalistic uh, Linux distro that basically only uses the minimum amount of projects or applications in order to get working. And of course, it is completely and utterly uh, user controlled. The idea of this, of course, is that it's extremely fast. It's able to support additional applications and uh, you can run it from your flash drive, from uh, from a hard drive if you really want to. And let's say you have a really old machine or you just want to, you know, see if something's working or for whatever your reasons are, you, you want to use this uh, uh, OS. Um, it's basically not a duplicate, it's some independent product. And, well, what versions does it come in? Well, the ISA I recently downloaded was about 25 megs. So I've downloaded the latest ISA and let's take a look at it today. Yeah, and as you can see here, we have Tiny Core, Tiny Core for slow devices, command line only if you need. And of course, we're going to choose the normal Tiny Core option here. And here we are. So if you see here, if I right click, I've only got a minimal application. See, I've got a terminal, some system tools, new desktop, right? And of course, here at the bottom, let's just close this. We have exit, we have an editor, control panel, apps, run program, mountain terminal. So if I click on apps, it looks like it's gonna just download. So we're going to need to pick the fastest mirror. I'm gonna say yes. And we're gonna let it check these 22 mirrors. So I'm gonna browse here for choice of some applications. Yeah, so let's say for example, I want Nano. Yeah, so I'm fit the download and load option here. So let's open up our terminal. And now we have nano working. Yeah, I'm gonna test it again. Let's try it with them. So I'm gonna do a search. Right. Under T Z Z. What happened there? As you can see here, we've got the option download plus load. I'm going to say go. And it failed for whatever reason. It's not to show why it's uh, having a bit of a party there. But anyway, let's close that and see what it installs. So it comes, of course, with terminal. Yeah, it's. Uh, just taking a look here, you can see this thing is using hardly any memory. Just over basically 11 megs. Uh, quite a lot of memory uh, left over here, of course. Hardly any CPU usage, which of course is understandable. As you can see, we're using the latest kernel uh, on the RTS range, 6.12. And this is the 32-bit edition of the OS. Okay, and then of course we have a mount tool. So we can just mount whatever disks there are. Basically pretty handy if your machine isn't starting up and you just want to access what's going on in there, you can do that. Run program, so of course you can just choose your uh, application you want to launch. The control panel, which is pretty basic here. So X first, so right, choosing different uh, resolutions. So if I went to go here next, and I was to choose option 59, right? And we've got USB. It would uh, eventually, after reboot, it should come up. Uh, services that are running, of course. Other box here, just THCP. So we can get an IPA there, a mount tool, which we looked at, a mouse tool. 
So we left to right button. Our system stats, here we go. Uh, our CPU, our memory, our network, uh, processes, file system you can see here used uh, 31.2 megs uh, I'll be drive everything so that's pretty nifty there wallpaper option so if you want to change your wallpaper or set up your own kind of gradients you can do that and you know that's actually even more important to backup and restore so you can take a backup of the system let's say and you go into another system and you want to restore the setup or configuration you can easily do it easy way to just date and time uh, your network configuration um, and of course your additional uh, bar and applications here and however you want to uh, configure them up uh, to display right and of course if you were to right click you know it's pretty much going to be the same thing so if I was to just click on apps, right, that was the same as earlier when we clicked on apps there. If I go here to editor, and I have someone titled uh, editor application working from there. Okay, the TCE directory is not right, so okay, probably I might have broken something earlier. And of course, you can do all these other things, screenshot services, setting your time, etc. So who is this for? Well, really, you know, in that situation, you want to get your machine up and running pretty quickly. And you don't want to necessarily faff around with uh, using another distro that might be more he heavyweight. This is great to use. Um, if you have an older machine, and perhaps you're going to just set this up to the hard disk, and you are going to install a browser or something to use on here another great option to use it for that as well folks right, so i'm going to keep this one for you one short and sweet comments leave them below as always thanks for watching and bye for now mm -hmm.